Sunrise on Mansfield Mountain by Alice Brown. Read for LibriVox.org by Ginny Rosario. O swift forerunners, rosy with the race, spirits of dawn divinely manifest, behind your blushing banners in the sky, daring invaders of night's tenting ground, how do ye strain on forward bending foot, each to be first in heralding of joy? with silence sandaled so they weave their way and so they stand with silence panoplied chanting through mystic symbolings of flame their solemn invocation to the light o changeless guardians o ye wizard first what strenuous filter feeds your potency that thus ye rest in sweet wood hardiness ready to learn of all and utter naught what breath may move ye or what breeze invite to odorous hot lendings of the heart what wind but all the winds are yet afar and e'en the little tricksy zephyr sprites that fleet before them like their elfin locks have lagged in sleep nor stir nor waken yet to pluck the robe of patient majesty too still for dreaming too divine for sleep so range the firs the constant fearless ones warders of mountain secrets there they wait each with his cloak about him breathless calm and yet expectant as who knows the dawn and all night thrills with memory and desire searching in what has been for what shall be the marvel of the ne'er familiar day sacred investiture of life renewed the chrism of dew the coronal of flame low in the valley lies the conquered rout of man's poor trivial turmoil lost and drowned under the mist in gleaming rivers rolled where oozy marsh contends with frothing main and rounding all springs one full ambient arch one great good limpid world so still so still for no sound echoes from its crystal curve save four clear notes the song of that lone bird who brave but trembling tries his morning hymn and has no heart to finish for the awe and wonder of this purling globe of dawn light light eternal veiling place of stars light the revealer of dread beauty's face weaving whereof the hills are lambent clad mighty libation to the unknown god cup whereat pine trees slake their giant thirst and little leaves drink sweet delirium being and breath and potion living soul and all-informing heart of all that lives how can we magnify thine awful name save by its chanting light and light and light an exhalation from far sky retreats it grows in silence as twere self-create suffusing all the dusky web of night but one lone corner it invades not yet where low above a black and rimy crag hangs the old moon thin as a battered shield the holy useless shield of long past wars dinted and frosty on the crystal dark but lo the east let none forget the east pathway ordained of old where he should tread through some sweet magic common in the skies the rosy banners are with saffron tinct the saffron grows to gold the gold is fire and led by silence more majestical than clash of conquering arms he comes he comes he holds his spear benignant sceptre wise and strikes out flame from the adoring hills end of poem this recording is in the public domain